Hardest part of the day, getting Bingo's leash on for his walk. You ready? Bro. Dog secured. All right, Bingo. Let's go. 21, can you do so for me? I don't know the rest of the words. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Let's go, Bingo. So we found our four week long pet sitting gig on Aussie house sitters. You can also use trusted house sitters. Um, that's more global, but we were looking for Australia specifically. There are a ton of listings for the holidays because that's when everyone leaves for vacation. But I will say it is harder than you think to find like an ideal pet sitting gig. For example, like we are not locals to Sydney or Australia. So we wanted, we didn't want to be like deep in the suburbs where like it was hard to get public transportation and all of that. Also, some people have like four dogs, five cats, two birds, like three snakes. And we didn't want that. We just wanted like, we are not, we just wanted one good boy. Watching Peter is hard enough. So oh, come on. So we filled out our profile or should I say, I filled, you, filled out, filled it out. You did all the work. The profile. Good boy. <laughs> and then I messaged um, a handful of people looking for pet sitters that were like located, you know, relatively close to any major city in Australia. And a lot of people were super quick to respond and they were like, okay, we'll get back to you, whatever. And the lady that I reached out to, so Bingo's mom, she responded super quick and she's like, great, awesome. Like I'll check out your profile, I'll add you to the list of everyone else I'm reviewing. And then I was like, I thought on it for like a day. And I'm like, okay, first of all, we have to find a house sitting gig for the holidays like it's i'm not gonna not find one we can't because our budget just won't it wouldn't survive us. exactly and then second i'm like okay she just said that she's got a bunch of like people trying to house it for her so the next day i wrote her another message i was like thanks for getting back and then i said i just wrote out like this like huge paragraph of like just all about us like where your home is like what we used to do while we were working trying to build like confidence or comfortability with exactly her. and trying to like just give her like as much information about us so that she's kind of like okay these people aren't like crazy living in their house and taking care of their puppy and then i also said i was like you like i linked our instagram and her tiktok and everything and i was like to get to know us as fast as possible like just watch our instagram and stuff and they didn't prior to like saying yes to us, which probably now that I think about it is probably a good thing because if they went on our on our TikTok, they probably would have been like, what is wrong with these people? <laughs> and then so this like long message I sent her like worked because and especially after meeting them, like they are also working professionals, they have three kids, like they're busy people and they really appreciated that message. And she even said like, this is our first puppy, like we've never done this before. And I really appreciated you like taking like, how do I say it? What's the word? The extra initiative. Like the extra initiative, exactly. To like do this. And so we FaceTime the next day and she was like, okay, bet. I'll see you guys in December. Fast forward to now. I got one and a half good boys to watch over. You want me to record Bingo's most vulnerable moments? Yeah, that's right. A very integral part of this house sitting gig. He um, is a pooper picker upper and he waters the plants. So hot tip if you want to secure a pet sitting gig just be extra transparent and I don't know almost like Not just pushing, put in the extra effort. An extra initiative. Also this is how Peter and I are different one of one of many ways we're different i do not take no for an answer like not in a bratty way but in like a i know there's a solution like there's got to be a workaround there's got to be a way and peter's just like well I'm, oh, if it's a no it's a no no if it's a, well it's like i accept it and then we'll figure out something else and go from there who's walking who <laughs> Oh, come on. Bingo, come on. I'm sure Bingo pooped right here. <laughs> Very alpha. So it's lunch time. So it's lunch time. <laughs> so it's lunch time. Obviously. A little past lunch time. We're having leftovers. We got some chicken, rice, and 
peppers and onions. Okay, if you guys have ever wondered how we spend 24 seven together, which by the way, is not normal for anyone to spend 24 seven with someone. Um, this is what most of our meals look like. And then I'll try to say something to Peter, like, you know, make conversation as people do. And Peter will be like, stop it, I'm reading about sports, I'm busy. Sometimes it's good information. Also, we are totally those people at restaurants where like they're sitting across from each other, both on their phones, not talking to each other, and they look like they hate each other. Like we are those people, but it's not because we hate each other sometimes. <laughs> it's because like we are together all the time. So you don't want to like, you, you just want to like go on your phone sometimes. But we do have dinners where we talk to each other. Yeah, and some dinners. He's like, I'm reading ESPN. See ya. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. See ya.